guys is Steve. Hope you guys are enjoying the other videos. Uh, this time for Super Rare Iron Man issue one. Yeah, it's it's also a long um, expanded action comics. I have waited for a long time. Captain America. After this one, uh, after the Captain America and the Mighty Avengers, I thought that I should do this review. Yes. I have read it and this is pretty much awesome. So let's go towards first comic book sources. What they're saying if Marvel Comics Axis event accomplishes nothing else, it's at least so far succeeded in making Tony Stark a jerk again. As many Marvel event trends to do, it also succeeds in making Stark the title character of a regular series once more, kicking off with Superior Iron Man issue won by Tom Taylor and Yale Delay Senior. Where a darker and more opportunistic spellhead unveils a cruel social and marketing experiment on the entire population of San Francisco. Of course, he is not always shellhead anymore, as the ever vain Tony Stark is as self loving as ever, using the new Extremist 3.0 to configure a clever new iteration of his armor to allow his adoring public to see his smiling face and wavy locks as desired. Sinus design is a perfect extension of both Iron Man's traditional armor and the events of Axis, enhanced by colorist Guru EFX, with a deceptively simple silver chain playing up Stark's self-presumed role of shining knight to public, he condensingly seems as socially undesirable. Taylor handles the inversion of Stark's personality while putting more of a self-obsessed pin on the character than a true villainous one and is able to generate a moderately fresh take on the Tony Stark is a jerk motive. Handled not so well is the behavior of the population who buy into Stark's seeming magical elixir for eternal youth who and Taylor are collectively turned into a mob of one-dimensional, self-obsessed head mongers. San Francisco is by all appearances transformed into a central California version of Hollywood, full of beautiful people but none of whom seem to have a life outside of hanging around in public places and looking great while doing it. Sinner capably, capably handles the look of a city suddenly populated with supermodels but Taylor just carries the joke too far without giving it any depth. So and IGN gave also a decent review for this one. I don't think that it it should get too much low but I think that it should go for more because the story and the impacts I like it if I don't go towards the criticizing kind of thing that why they drawn it like this why they drawn it like that or kind of thing but while overall enjoying I say it's pretty much good back to old habits that given how popular Marvel's superior Spy Spider-Man series was can't really blame them for electing to reuse the superior adjective as they relaunch Iron Man at least it fits the premise of this book Tony Stark may not have had his body stolen by one of his villains, but he is still a very different person thanks to the events of Axis, for reasons that won't be made clear until the final of Axis. Tony's personality has become permanently altered by the psychic inversion, now he is essentially reverted to the Tony Stark he was before being blown up by terrorists and developing a moral compass. This new, this new era. This newer and supposedly superior Iron Man has grand plans for the city of San Francisco, but you can bet that not everyone in the superior community is so enthusiastic. I, I really love this one. What they said about the bad things of this comics is also something is there. The bad things, obviously, this is the Iron Man we grew up with has to turn completely well, not really. So the let me go to the good things. Till now, already all of ever reviewers say the bad things, but the good things are Tony Stark can be a complex character as a hero. He is often portrayed as arrogant and full of bluster. This is a guy that has lived a life of privilege and happens to be extremely intelligent as well. He has a lot to brag about and has managed to do a lot of good as a hero and an Avenger. But all that is changing as a result of the events in Avengers and X-Men Axis. Tony Stark is under a spell of sorts. 
he has been involved in some ways making a move to San Francisco, Surf decided to unleash the extremist app on the city. The app was automatically downloaded onto everyone's phone and promised to change everyone into their ideal selves. This doesn't sound too bad, right? Of course everything has a catch. Tony made this decision recklessly without apparently considering the consequences. To add to this, he started drinking once again. Tom Tyler is giving us a more arrogant and impulsive Tony Stark. Tony is now indulging in other things while the operator has man remotely on missions he feels are beneath him as well as pushing the extremist app. This is one of these cases where seeing a changed character is like watching a fascinating science experiment. Pepper Potts pays a visit to try to figure out what is going on with him and provides an anchor to who Tony Stark is supposed to be throwing Daredevil and things are going to get messy and fun for readers. I'm really excited about seeing more of Yield Ray seniors out here along with Guru FX's colors. We got a new Iron Man suit so that looks great for this big chance in Tony's personality. They convey the disturbing nature to what's going on and you will want to see more. So that's the big thing. I have enjoyed it. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you would like to enjoy these comics more, just go and buy it. I request you it's deserve it. So thanks for watching. Hit the like button and share it.